Hi everyone, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin. We're gonna actually get some combat in now, so we're gonna just like fuck whatever the, the miners the miners problems are. It's like, a minor problem. Ha ha. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> but we're gonna go figure out that blood tra trail that we left like two episodes ago or something. We're gonna see what the deal with that is. Oh this dude, this chest there you didn't loot. What? How did you miss that? What? Ah! Wow, I'm so much better than fucking wow. with you. I got, I got, I got. <laughs> One sec, I need to heal. I need to heal myself. Thanks. <laughs> Just take it from me. You're now part of me. What, what, what do we get from that chest? Nothing. Well, what what matters Brace, is we found braces, it. helmet, and a summon isolator scroll. There we go, this thing. Yeah, the fucking you had lucky charm stacking and you didn't fucking use it. I, I, I've I been think watching it works you. On chests. I've, I've been watching you. Wait, wait, I'll fucking, I'll stack it for this fucking tree trunk, all right? Yeah. You better be done. Augmenter, go get that. There's a, there's a tree up. trunk here. Yeah, I know. Go pick up the fucking augmenter though. Where? Fold alt. I am holding alt. Where is it? Oh my god. Where? Oh, there, dude! I'm fucking looking Blind over is here. A bat lot. No, I'm not. I'm not fucking you, like uh, there, as if like you're like beside me pointing at my screen. Whatever. I'm, go I'm going over here. Whatever. Okay. You there? Your night ship? Oh, please come to our aid. My wife and I are stranded here. Want to see what you're selling? Literally nothing. Okay. What are you doing here? We are refugees, my leech. Two of the far too few souls that managed to escape Hunter's Edge when the orcs invaded. We were hoping to reach Silverglen, but we were attacked by highwaymen. Those devils would have scalped and skewered us if it hadn't been for Alfie. Oh, the brave creature bit one of them in half, though not before being frightfully wounded himself. Tommy, let's discuss Alfie. The bravest beast of burden in the borough is Alfie, but the poor blighter's bleeding like a stuck pig and can't move no more. Which means we can't move no more either. Why, it would be folly to abandon a bandit killer in a wood full of bandits now, wouldn't it, your night ship? Besides, all our worldly wealth is strapped to his back. We'd be destitute without it. And yet, we can hardly stay here forever. Silverglen is close enough to see the chimney fumes from here. Mara absolutely refuses to leave Alfie's side, and like I said, I'm inclined to agree with her. If only... <clears throat> A stout champion would uh, step up and lend us a hand. Maybe I can lend you a hand. Oh, we'd be mighty grateful if you would escort us to Silverglen, your knightship. But for it is our aim to set up shop there. A new smithy in a new town. What a smithy? Without Alfie, though, without the tools he carries, I'd be like a fisherman without his rod, grasping for salmon with his bare hands. Never could I produce the quality of work for which I'm renowned. Our predicament is clear, and the biggest problem is that Alfie's wounds are so dire, no ordinary healing potion will work. He needs... Well, I don't know what he needs, but they say miracle cures are produced by the priests of Silverglen. Okay, uh, tell me about Hunter's Edge. Oh, it was not but a small stop for trading folk along the long road south to Sysiel. Well, we got along all right, but now our little home's finally been undone. Orcs invaded, and the source hunter who was meant to protect us didn't save a one of us. I'll escort you to Silverglen if you are. Well, we are, my liege. Though, like I said, it would grieve us dearly to leave Alfie behind. Uh. <laughs> uh, let's be compassionate. You're right. We should try to heal Alfie first. Indeed. He carries your belongings, after all. <laughs> That's what Ken cares about. <laughs> well, I'm glad you've agreed Alfie needs to be saved before we can depart. Uh, please leave no stone unturned in your search for a concoction that will heal his wounds. Uh, we actually look at him. He's uh, actually can't I just fucking heal him normally? No, don't do it, don't do it. Why? Because last time you didn't hurt him. I'm gonna talk to. I need a moment to reflect. <laughs> what? Oh, you don't. For the good of all, 
Source hunters ought to be as altruistic as I, without exception. <laughs> no, we must remain vigilant. What? <laughs> uh. All this talk of giving, yet you won't offer me a moment's peace. <laughs> hey, shut the Bitch. fuck up. <laughs> Go talk to Medora. A, comrade. a fine blacksmith, Bjorn. It gladdens me more than you can imagine to see he and Mara escaped Hunter's Edge. But it's no wonder he blames me for what happened there. Uh, tell me what you remember. Well, it started like any other day, comrade. I told you before, and this much was true. Hunter's Edge was a quiet place. There hadn't been a peep from the Phantom Forest in nearly a century. And save the occasional drunken orc wandering in from the west, there was nothing for any of the townsfolk to fear. I was on patrol one sunny afternoon when I stumbled upon a pair of scrawny orcs building a fire. Bellowed at them to get, but they went for their swords instead. Well, I made short work of them, but I couldn't find their tribe insignia anywhere. What I did find was a deep red apple-sized gemstone in one of their pockets. It was warm in my hand and seemed far too fine a treasure to belong to an orc. Sounds eerily like a bloodstone. You and I both know that now, but then my senses were dulled by years of peace. I'd grown soft. I was foolish. I figured it to be an oversized ruby. And it was the worst misjudgment of my life, comrade. Their kind never did take a shine into such finery, so I assumed it had been stolen for its trading value. I pocketed the gem and planned on sending it up to Academy North for the Order to deal with. All was peaceful back at the village. All was quiet. If only I'd known then. If only I had paid attention. Had seen the signs. The orcs that came for the bloodstone? Night had only just begun to fall when they surrounded us. It could only have been a few dozen, but they swarmed like hundreds. Those of us who resisted were immediately cut down. I watched the blood of innocent villagers spill into the streets. I saw their bodies hit the ground. People, it was my job to protect, comrade. Suddenly your villages all makes more sense. I made myself promise that night, comrade. Never again would I let another sign of source pass me by unnoticed. Never again would I fail in my sworn duty. It's a promise I intend to keep. Is that where your story ends? How did you escape the orcs and what of the remaining so villagers? Let's... Let's discuss it another time, comrade. It ain't easy for an old bear like me to greet these ghosts. For now, maybe we ought to soldier forward. Plenty to be done around these parts, eh? Ready to advance? Ready to defend? Okay. <clears throat> so remember when we were, like, gonna go fucking do story shit? Yeah. Combat. No, combat shit, you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I meant. Oh, dude, there's a, there's a thing here. Spooky. Oh, spot. Oh, penny bun mushrooms. A shadow just sprang to life. Oh, there's Strange mushrooms. Strange magic indeed. Perhaps we're nearing the White Witch's lair. What the fuck's going on here? Ah, the Source Hunter. It is my greatest pleasure to announce to you that we Immaculates have captured the feared White Witch and quarantined her house of horrors. I am a Hans. I come from Germany. What's he selling? Dude, he's got, he's got air essence on him. And summon... Dude, he has summon wolf. Why does everyone have summon wolf now? <laughs> it's as common as fucking something. Like fucking something. Yes. The greatest known threat to Rivalon has been neutralized. Thanks in no small part to you, Source Hunter. Your activities in Sicil drove the snake to her den, and that's where we immaculate sprang our trap. I need to question the White Witch about her involvement in the murder of Counselor Jake. Ah, the High Counselor of Sicil. We mourned his tragic death. Yes, every immaculate honors the memory of that noble man. Still, Source Hunter, I am sworn on my life to guard this quarantine. I serve a higher authority than yours and will not waver in my duty. Uh, reason, you and I clearly serve the same side. I have no reason to compromise your capture of the uh, White Witch. Ah oh, shit, I have more reason. But he won the argument anyways. Regardless, I've sworn an oath, 
and I'll not tolerate even a source hunter's interference. If I find you beyond this point, I'll be forced to summon the greatest depths of my powers to stop you. I want to kill him anyways, to be honest. All right, you ready to go? Where do you one go? Sec. Where's this? Wait, 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 one sec, one sec. All right, here we go. You vanished. All right, get in there, get in there. Throw the fight, throw the fight. Where is he? What fight? Where, where's the fight? Dare to defy an immaculate command? You'd seek the white witch despite our warning. Oh shit! I guess he was immune to stun. <laughs> I mean, he is immune to stun. What the f level died? What the fuck? What level are we? Ten. Oh shit! We're, we're gonna kick this guy's ass. All right, what are these things? Tenebrium resistance, two hundred percent. Earth, uh, negative fifty air. So do not try and stun these guys. Where's the uh? Where's the, where's the actual guy that summoned these guys? Fucked up, I think. I don't see him. So, just charm this one. Do you feel the energy between us? <laughs> Do you feel the energy between us? Nice. I haven't used this in a while. Oh, nice. No, my summon. Dude of Adora. I don't know. Advice. I forgot what that does. Why, why do we have fucking Lucky Charm? Oh, just massive crits, that's why. I think he's a chance to hit. Pike! Yeah. Wait, why, why did. Joanne just skip his turn. No, the the void wanderer just skipped his turn. Oh. I told you he wasn't paying attention to that. But hey, why did I skip my turn? Yeah, our turns got skipped. Apparently apparently my air wand may not be the best option here. I'm gonna put in a. I can put in another water wand, maybe. Or a fire wand. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, uh, there's like no damage. Do I get a turn? Uh, yeah. After, after they all do their move. mystery to me. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I'm gonna slow that guy, though. Okay, I can't do air magic on these guys, so what we'll do is, uh, we're just fire staff some motherfucker. <laughs> so many spells. Dude, you get stunned. Oh, <laughs> now yeah. you don't get a turn. So that's what void crystals do. It's fucking rude. Oh, that's why you didn't get it. Oh, okay. I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll try and help you out then after that. Just try and tie up the void fucker. Actually, I, I can I can remove your stun now. Don't help. Oh. Stop! Eric, you're no. not stunned anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you're not stunned anymore. That's what you wanted. New to stunning, of course they are. But thunder jump is what I wanted to do, anyways. Um, I should. I have to use more earth spells on these guys, but I don't have that many. Maybe I should have seen if I had an earth wand. I mean, it's possible I did. Earth damage, you say? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
okay. I'm gonna make it rain here so that we don't have to be on fire. Actually, wait. Do we do we even care? Kind of, I guess. I don't care. Nah, nah. I'm not gonna do that. What we'll do is we'll do earth damage. The fuck? Apparently that guy didn't get hit. Actually, I could just fucking kill both of these guys. Fuck these guys. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's wonders of what you work, Mike. Stop! They're eating her! Now they're gonna eat me! Nah, fine. What meme should I use? See, look, we got, we, we all have, you know, we have fire resistance. Look at our fucking fire resistance right now. I'm gonna use this meme. And I'm gonna use this meme. Dude, can, can, can you get away from that void crystal? No. Okay. I'm not carrying your stun anymore. No. Oh god! Yeah. Fire elemental, please! Miss. Looks like it's up to me, Your partner! Opens to welcome you. Uh, that was a very high crit. Yeah, this thing has like a really good crit. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> I'm bleeding. Did you do it, Mike? Parasitic yeah. caress. Yeah. Oh man, look at the boots. Oh man, a crossbow. I can't wait to sell that. That's it. I don't have anything else. Oh, how are you doing with yours? <laughs> Fucking fought, knock you on the ground. Hey, you want to see the hands of this guy? Sure. Go Hamzo on him. Oh, oh dude! Oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I think I hit the door. That's yeah. Calculated. <laughs> what? Why are you going? Like, uh, <laughs> you're like, you're like, like even your fucking like in-game character is a fucking child. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Look. I didn't. I didn't <laughs> it's calculated. You wish you were as fucking cool as me. Apparently. Didn't even prompt the fucking like, hey, don't shoot me dialogue. <laughs> She's just used to it by now. I just like the fact like your character was giggling like an idiot when you were fucking done. Now oh, we got a portal here. Alright. I'll do this. healing, bro. There's a mysterious mushroom here. Or a mushroom Makari. Maybe that's something to fight. Taught by the heavenly muse to venture down the darkest descent and up to reascend. Uh, Dude, I'm talking to mushroom. We had something lodged in our windpipe. Talking mushroom, now I've seen everything. Oh, somehow we doubt that very much. Have you ever seen a dragon's pajamas? A rat in a Sunday hat? No, no, Source Hunter. We do believe this life hasn't finished surprising you. Not in the least. What do you know about this barrier? It's quite a lovely sort of barrier, isn't it? Who doesn't enjoy a gentle, breezy motion against one's backside after all? Then again, we suspect it's been hoisted up by some not-so-savory characters. And we happen to know just how to remove it. 
The only trouble is finding the right sort of clever sort of intrepid sort of person to entrust such a secret to. Here's what we propose. We've a fresh batch of three brain teasers hot off our thinking caps. Perhaps, if you can answer them correctly, we might find you spirited enough to entrust with the barrier's deepest, darkest secrets. But it isn't all fun and games. We hardly offer second chances to the beriddled. If you give us a single false answer, we'll clam up like morning glories at midnight. So, do you have what it takes? All right, you want to do some, you want to do some fucking riddles? I'm up for the challenge. This is better news than the Orc Queen misplacing her thumbscrew. But enough delays. Let us begin. Your first riddle begins thus. The ravenous brute tore down my chartreuse gown, ripped out my silken hair by its roots, wrenched my children from me, and fed me to the hogs. <gasps> Who am I? Uh, ear of corn. An ear of corn. That's right. An ear of corn fits perfectly. Bravo, bravo, bravissimo. An ear of corn indeed. Can you imagine a sheep in a chartreuse gown? A pumpkin with silken hair? The fantasies of a fool. Now, on to our second riddle. And this one's sure to stump you. I cannot lie, I cannot lay, but only lie. Who am I? Cannot lie, I cannot lay, and I only lie. Who am I? <laughs> a politician. A stone. A warlock. Now, ah, what do you think? What do you think this one is? Mm. I cannot lie. I cannot lay. Cause a, a politician can lay. Can a rock lay? Mm. Sounds like a politician, to be honest. Is either a politician or a rock or a stone? But a, a stone can lie. You know, I'm gonna say politician. Let's let's yield. Let's save. A politician. Oh. You know what? It's your call. Yeah. That's right. A politician fits perfectly. Ha! We knew we weren't to be bested. No. There's no riddler among us. You're an idiot. Us. Sorry. No. But They're all gonna laugh at you. Oh, you know what? I'll be dead. I'll give a single coin. Oh, dude. What was he wanted? Two thousand. Two thousand five hundred? No. That's what loading is for. <laughs> You want to fucking charge us 2,500 gold. Well, what does a fucking mushroom need with gold? Alright, what, what do you think it is then? Stone. Well, obviously. It, like, a wallet doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Makes even less sense. Politician indeed. <laughs> fucking politician. Why right, a stone. stone? That doesn't make any sense though. That's but right. I, I'm not a very good at English. Fits perfectly. <laughs> You've done it again! I'm thrilled! I'm amazed! I'm liable to... to present the very last riddle! This one will blow you out of your stockings! So hold on tight! I've a neck as long as twice the width of a toad's tail. As many eyes as half the number of seasons per annum. I'm known to cause hurricanes in the Far East merely by taking off two minutes too late. Who am I? Uh, okay. As many eyes as half the number of seasons, so two. Then kind of cause hurricanes in the far east merely by taking off two minutes late. A man, a bu butterfly, or a weather vane. What do you think it is? A neck as long as the width of a twice the width of a toad's t tail, so that doesn't make any sense for a man. As many eyes as half the number of seeds. Well, the weatherman doesn't have eyes. So you I'll think a butterfly? A butterfly. Yeah, right, well, it's it's just, oh, oh, safety save. Safety save? Why is this cheating? <laughs> That's right, a butterfly. There's no voice dialogue, so this is a bad, Ooh, this is a bad fucking sign. Good. who tried to solve that riddle puffed away in a small impish huff mumbling about space-time but not you 
You stuck it out until the very end, you crafty little so-and-so. Sir, what would you like to know? What do you know about this barrier? One thing we know for certain. This barrier doesn't belong here. The wizard Maradino knew as much when he started poking around here. He developed a spell to remove it, but his fancy was caught elsewhere before he bothered to implement it. Down the spell dropped, and up we scooped it. Unfortunately, we aren't quite human enough to get it to work. But you've proven yourself just the right sort of clever, sort of intrepid sort of person we'd love to entrust such a secret to. What do you know about the White Witch? We thought you'd never ask. What would you like to know? <laughs> do you know anything about White Witch's involvement in the murder of Counselor Jay? Murder? That doesn't sound like her at all, no. Much more interested in patching things up than tearing them down, that one. Then again, it's hard to tell on what stalk a person truly stands until you've seen them at the end of their rope. Isn't that so? We suppose if someone held a sword to our cats, we'd fight them with every last spore we had. Who is she exactly? Some call her the Guardian of Lukula. And by our estimations, she's more than earned the title. She's a healing witch, concerned mostly with the safety of the living souls, animals and plants alike, of this forest. And she's been here since even before our great, 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 great grandmother, Francisca Toadstool the 44th, can recall. We've long lodged adjacent to her little cabin, and she used to greet us with a how do you do every morning. We do hope she's not entangled in anything unsavory. What a shame it'd be if someone with a penchant for heavy-handed hoe-wielding moved in. Oh, where is she at? Somewhere in her cabin, as far as we know. The last we saw her, she and her apprentice Almina were rushing inside, whispering to one another. They seemed rather anxious. Perhaps they knew that those immaculates were on their trail. I'll take my leave.